Hi everyone. Um, today I am reviewing this made to move dancer doll. Um, I've thought about getting her for a long time and she was on there for a really good price on Amazon. Um, now um, the seller that was selling these have sold out. Now they're like £60 on there. So I'm glad I got her when I did. So it says at the bottom you can be anything Barbie. Made to move the ultimate poseable Barbie and this is a curvy Barbie. She does have a mark on her face and teeth and her eyes are a little bit uneven but I'm hoping I can get that mark off. <laughs> and she has a bit of a mark on the back of the box as well, like a bit of a dirty mark up there. Ugh, I don't know what that is but yeah. <laughs> so it says when a girl plays with Barbie she imagines everything she can become. Dancers are athletes who express themselves through choreography. They can perform different styles including jazz, ballet, tap, modern and hip hop. Music plays a big role in a dancer's routine. Dancers can perform in solo pieces or as part of a group. Do you love to express yourself through dance? You can be a dancer. And there she is on the back with her little boom box. <clears throat> 200 plus careers. And it's got some 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 more uh, some more career dolls on the back. So it's got um the soccer Barbie, the uh baseball, I think it is, or cricket. No, I think it's cricket. And then they've got uh I think she is like a some sort of dancer she's got batons or something there and then oh that one's a basketball player i have like the stiff jointed soccer player i don't have the made to move version they brought out one like in a single pack without any of the other bits on it so so yeah i'm gonna get her out now and then we'll take a closer look so here we go here she is at the box i did manage to get some of that dirt off her face it still looks like there's a little bit there, but most of it came off of a baby wipe, which was lucky. And um, I just want to show you some kills. This is the art on the back of the box, which is really cool. I quite like this art. I think it's really nice. It's like a dance student. It's got a bit of a graffiti on the back of the wall there. So here's her accessory. It kind of looks like a boom box, but then I notice she has her little phone in there. So it's, I guess it's like speakers. She puts her phone in there like an iPod thing. I think it's an iPod <laughs> where she puts the phone in and then this, it comes out the speakers, makes it louder. It's just all one colour, the rest of it, but it's pretty cool. This does not come out. This is like a solid piece stuck in there. As far as I can tell, I don't think it comes out. I think it's just got like a, I don't think it's a sticker, paint. Maybe they painted it on there, but it's pretty cool. And then here she is. <laughs> I really like her hair colour. It's like pink, but it has like different shades in there of red. So it's pink with like red streaks, which looks really pretty. I really like her hair colour. I think it's gorgeous. Her face looks much nicer now she doesn't have dirt on it. One of her eyes is a bit um, in the wrong place, but she still looks pretty. There's her eyebrows. She doesn't have any makeup on. From what I can see, she has like grey eyes and then she has pink lips. And like I said, I'm really glad I was able to get that dirt off her face. It does not look as noticeable now. Um, you probably notice she does have the curvy body. So she's like a um, a curvy made to move, which is awesome. So she does have all the... F she has full articulation. So her head is on a ball joint. Her hand, like she bends like all the way back like this. So she can like touch her face and stuff, which is really cool. It's like double jointed at the elbow. <clears throat> and then her wrist has articulation as well and then of course um, she has articulation in the torso as well so she can move around up here too and then her knees have the same articulation as her as her wrists so she can push it right back which is really cool I do love the articulation of course she has ankle articulation too because she's made to move so I'm really happy to have a made-to-move curvy doll, finally. Because the curvy body style is my favourite. So <clears throat> let's have a look at her outfit now. So she's wearing this 59 t-shirt, which is really nice. It doesn't Velcro, it's just, uh, it slips on over the top. Which is really cool. And then underneath, she has a separate piece. Which is like a strapless top. So you could just have the strapless top instead of the t-shirt or vice versa, which is really cool. So that's nice. It's a separate piece. 
and then she has jeans on. It is printed on, though, annoyingly. It doesn't have pockets on the back, which is a little bit strange. And then for some reason, it's a bit of a purple mark there. Only on that piece there, which is strange, but okay. <laughs> so there they are. And then, yeah, these are printed at the front. They could have printed them on the bottom, but it's like elasticated. It's more like a pair of, um, instead of a pair of jeans, they're more like a pair of jeggings. And then they have like, um, like ripped effects on them, but they're not actually ripped. They're just printed on as well, but they're not bad. And then here's her shoes. She, she has like green, kind of like a turquoise uh, green uh, trainer. Which is cool. They've got like a big tongue at the top there. They're pretty cool. I don't think I've seen these mould shoes before. They've got the Barbie symbol on the bottom. Yeah, she's really cool. I'm just going to grab one of my other made to move so you can see how different she looks to the original. So here they both are doing the same pose. And as you can see, you can see how different the arms are. They're a lot thicker on this one. Oh, and I forgot that she does also have that bit there where you can swivel, which the other one has as well. So there they are doing uh, hands on the hip pose. <laughs> and they are cross-legged. <laughs> I just, I love the made to move. It's so cool how they, um, you can put them in so many different positions. It is so cool and it's so cool to have a different body size now. I just want to show you her arms. Do you see them a little longer? The, uh, this one, her arms are a lot shorter, which I prefer because I feel like the made to move dolls have extremely long arms. <laughs> So yeah, I think she looks a bit more proportional with slightly shorter arms. This arm seems to like not go in or not uh, uh, much, so I don't know if it's because it's stiff or because she's new or that there's something wrong with her. I mean, she's still fine, but yeah, one of her arms seems to not want to go all the way in for some reason. Not quite sure why, but yeah. This doll is, <clears throat> I think she was the, the pink top, um like the pink top doll with the leggings but I changed her head I put this this doll is like one of the fashionistas I think her name was platinum pop or something because I didn't really like the head that was on the body so I did a head swap and I much prefer this one so that's in case you wondered which doll this is <laughs> yeah I think she's really cool I really really like her it's just a shame about her arm being a little bit stiff this side yeah, it's kind of annoying about her arm, but it's not like I can get another one easily because now the seller who was selling these dolls has run out and now another seller is selling them for like 60 quid on there, which is insane. So I just forgot to tell you actually, her hair is a little choppy at the back. As you can see, it looks quite layered. <laughs> so, but I think it's fine because it looks choppy higher up as well so it kind of looks it kind of goes but I just want to show you that it was choppy at the back I think she's beautiful I really like this hair color on this face mold I think it's nice now I've got that dirty mark off I was a bit worried when I first saw her in the box I was like oh my but thank goodness for baby wipes it came off and the um now the the slightly bigger eye doesn't bother me as much now she doesn't have the big dirty mark on her face as well so and she's really gorgeous. I really love the other body style because I feel like these ones are a bit too thin. So it's so nice to have the made to move body style. I think it's so much better. It looks so much more proportional to the the original, to the thin, to this one. But I still really like the other ones. I have a lot of these because, you know, they were easy to get. Oh, and this dress she's wearing was one from a different fashionista. I really like this outfit. So I put it on her. So, yeah. Yeah, let me know what you think of this dancer doll. I do think she's very awesome. She's a very nice doll. I'm really happy to have her. They did do one other curvy doll. I can't remember what the name of the doll was, but I didn't like her as much. I like this one a lot more. I like this one's outfit because the other one had like, um, <clears throat> she was wearing like leggings and a top. So her outfit wasn't as nice. And I just didn't think she was as cool looking. I much prefer this one with her, her red and pink hair. It just looks really nice. I do like dolls with unnatural coloured hair. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe and comment if you can. Hope everyone's staying safe out there and washing their hands. <laughs> I am. I'm staying in my house. So, <laughs> But yeah, just make sure you're taking good care of yourselves, um, washing your hands and social distancing and all that because you've got to keep yourself safe because this virus is very horrible. So yeah. Okay, everyone. See you again soon. Bye.